Welcome to Draw Class, the show where we teach you how to draw things. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. And today we are, uh, you know, reveling in the response that yesterday's video got, and uh, we're phoning it in. We're phoning it in twice. We're, we're doing we're doing the same thing from yesterday, but we're framing. We're this time we're teaching you stuff. Yeah. So we got a new drawing for you guys uh, that's coming in this uh, in this ongoing series of, uh, of two, drawings. Two episodes. Two series. episodes that we've been doing. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's just play a video. Um, we're going to be inking and coloring a drawing from our article that we're posting on Friday. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. It's a little more informative. Uh, the video is slowed down, and Nathan does a great job. Oh, thanks, man. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. So, um, it's underway. Yeah, this is, again, mm -hmm. this is Melnar from, uh -huh. uh, from, from our, our article. Uh, Which will be out tomorrow. Yeah. And you God, can, you God can look at it. God willing. Yeah, we've still got some work to do on it. So, um, yeah, if you're... Um, well, you're not just tuning in, but if somehow you manage to do that, we're uh, we've been working really hard this week on this big article uh, that's coming out tomorrow, and uh, we figured we'd just take you through it. Nathan's uh, inking it right now. Um, this is actually all. This is uh, the Nathan Showcase episode. Yeah, Cobble was busy doing his mm -hmm. his uh, sexy sexy numbers. That's true. Because what's sexier than numbers? Uh, I posit I nothing. I don't. I don't have a good answer. I well, well like I. It is numbers, actually. Numbers, you know, if, numbers are the only thing sexier if than numbers. My, if my time in middle school and like just actually all of school is any indication, I was just boned up like every day in algebra class. <laughs> boned up. It was. I was just Chub City you just, oh, all through God. geometry. Yeah. Didn't need to raise your hand because. Uh, you, yeah. It would be like teacher, oh, like these teacher are. Teacher could see you were excited. It's like check out these asymptotes, and I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Teach. Uh, the chabaj is too great. <laughs> I can't handle it. I don't know what my problem is. So anyway, let's get back to this. Nathan yeah. is um. This is a uh, this is draw class. So we're right. supposed to be kind of teaching, teaching you a thing. Maybe rough, rough and ready. Look at me struggle with this. So this this is sped up a mm -hmm. little less the the last time. By the way, uh, in the last uh, video, which uh, people seem to like, which is why we did this one again. Right. In addition to being uh, busy, which means people probably won't like this one. Yeah, it's too soon. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, in the last video I said it was sped up 2,000 times, mm -hmm. which obviously was not was not true. No. Uh, it was 2,000%, right. which means 20 times. <laughs> uh, I Math? People we're really... Back, we're back to... Oh, the, math! Oh, oh God! No. Oh, oh no, the Caldwell. concepts, percentages. Uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. I don't know how percentages work. That's okay. I don't think anybody was calling you on that. Let's get back into the actual art, though, here. So this is only sped up uh, eight eight times. Mm -hmm. So I like what you're doing here, which is, um, you can see the outlines that you're working with are much thicker, yeah, uh, but the a, internal a, lines a thicker brush are nice and tapered. And we should mention, I, I, I hear this a lot, um, and people want to know, the brush that we're using, you can kind of see it in the corner, is actually just a standard pencil tool. We're, we don't actually use the brush. Uh, you're using yeah. the brush, the pencil, right? Yeah, that's to make coloring easier. That's yeah. a thing, again, another thing that uh, you, you did you do. This is a and hot I, tip. This is the, the hottest. This is fresh out of the craft oven. Uh, use the pencil tool when you want a super clean uh, paint afterwards if you're using Photoshop. The reason for that is the pencil tool draws in uh, hard pixels, hard-edged hard -edged pixels uh, as opposed to uh, cut, rasterized. Cut um, yourself on how sharp those pixels are. Oh, yeah. Are. Don't put them in your mouth. <laughs> do not. Do not print these pixels. Uh, do not 3D print these pixels and then try and eat them because they will, they will make your mouth uh, a blood forest. So what happens is I love <laughs> these blood I love these rough nails. I just noticed that by the way. Yeah, I figured, nice. uh, I figured Melnar's mm -hmm. not, not got a lot of time to, yeah. to Manny Petty. So anyway, yeah, the when you paint or when you uh, when you fill with the paint bucket, um, if you use the pencil tool, you'll get these nice clean edges. You won't have any um, anti-aliasing from the uh, the soft edges that you get with a brush. And anti-aliasing mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. it's like a it's <laughs> it's like a Jamaican way to say aunt. Okay. Yeah, but my, what it also aunt, means <laughs> my auntie alias. Auntie alias. Uh, <laughs> but it also is is a. Um, it's a term for like when you have like a soft pixel edge, which you get with like a brush, or like if you blur something, you get this little white, white mm -hmm. halo between the uh, yeah. the colors and the outlines. So yeah, use the pencil tool. You don't want it makes, that. Uh, it makes coloring a lot easier. Um, you can also see a little bit. Nathan's doing this on that 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 edge there on the hand. Uh, he's using slightly of a thicker brush. 
Yeah. Uh, because that's in the foreground. A thicker size. You can see it's at it's at thirty mm -hmm. up up in the in the corner there. And this is a hot. I, yeah. I pointed at the screen as if that would show up to anyone. Yeah. But, it's uh, a fucking it, it's a fucking hot tip bake sale. They're coming at you hard and fast. Use a thicker brush when you do stuff in the foreground as opposed to the background. Um, and the reason for that is it'll create an, a nice nice little illusion of depth. Yes. Which is I'm all about that illusion of depth. Uh, artists are magicians. Uh, you can. David Copperfield, you can go back to hell, which is where you're from, because you're Oof. not a true magician. Caldwell, we shots, are. shots fired. Uh, Chris All Angel. The, the David Copperfield fan. Yeah. We'd say, like, an innocuous thing yeah. that we do don't even that remember, the, uh -huh. and someone gets super offended. Do you, do you think that the, the <laughs> copper... Co what, what do you think they call themselves? What are Copperfield... Copper fans? Copper... Do you copper think the copper fans? I think... <laughs> you think tops? the copper heads are coming for us <laughs> after that disparaging comment? The um, Copper Tops. We'd never see them coming. The Copper Tops, the Earth Angels, which I imagine what Chris Angels fans are called. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Or the Christians. Ooh. Just called the <laughs> Christians. There's, there's a lot of confusion <laughs> uh -huh. on uh, uh, and those their, are the... their websites. People people show up to their meetings. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, this, this was a Christian uh, Christian meeting, right? This is it's a, like, uh, yeah, Christian we're, fellowship. We're uh, talking about our we love number, angels. One, <laughs> number one guy, Chris. Yeah, we, we love, love angels we love and angels. Uh, miracles. And miracles, yeah. That's wow. There's wow, so they're much. Wow, basically Christians anyway. I, I'm also going to mention. I'm going to take a break here to mention that uh, inside the interior lines uh, are a lot thinner. Um, yeah, you know, we're we're down to 15. Yeah, you want to get those nice and small half. so that they don't overwhelm the uh, the drawing. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm loving these like shadows you're doing as well. It's a it's a good trick. Um, this is a full. This is going to be a full color drawing, so you don't have to do too much in the way of, uh, you know, like black shadowing. But I found that for like especially dark areas, it really helps to like you know just go, go full black with it. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun seeing yeah. what works and what doesn't. And you know, I think that sometimes I think, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you can overdo it when you're inking. I feel like any drawing needs a little bit of black just to make it like you know. Well, obviously, the whole thing is going to be black because that's the color of ink you're using. But uh, it needs a little bit of like solid black areas to help it pop a little bit. Yep. So yeah, like kind of like look for that uh, to help balance your composition when you're inking. I, I found that to be helpful. Damn, we are just what is, what hot is, what are we, fresh what and hot we, out the kitchen. What are we doing? We're draw-fee just, draw just, art time edition. We're giving actual advice, kind of. <laughs> we're, just, we're just tired. <laughs> we can't. It's been a, it's been a long week. We, we just Hopefully go to people it. are going to like see. I hope we're not like hyping this article too much. People are going to be like, what? Just yeah, be, just this, all week on this? Yeah, right. Um, I play video games longer than that. I read a book. Took me a year. This is nothing. This is not. This is no no thing. This is no thing. <laughs> but yeah, you know, if if uh -huh. you uh, if you don't see this when you're when you're playing through, yeah. it means you didn't pick you didn't, the, the didn't thing that, it, right? that gets uh, Melnar to. We should mention that this is a. Uh, it's uh, the it's hella... working title is first date RPG, but essentially what it is is it's a, a dating sim uh, played out like a choose your own adventure. So there's multiple endings. It's true. Um, this may or may not be an ending. Great work on this belt. By yeah, the way. look at me. Look at me. Try and do. <laughs> just, try and like make. That. Try and make circles. Like you it's can like always a, just use a uh, um, like a. I don't like to use the pen. The pen tool. Yeah. To, but I don't like to do that. It's yeah. It's a hubris thing. I know. <laughs> there's so many things I do when I ink that like, or just when I draw in general that are like these weird leftover like pride things where I'm like, no, I must, I must draw this car all by myself. Oh, cars! That's where we're supposed to draw this week, as opposed to. Oh yeah, we we, <laughs> we, we yeah we said we were gonna do cars last ha! week, uh, this Somebody, week, and we we super didn't. We'll car, get we'll car get fan, cars. Car fan sixty nine is tuning in, being like, "What?" So many people claimed I, ownership of that suggestion. I was so ready. I needed those wheels in my life. Car fan sixty nine feels about cars the way I do about math and hard numbers. Oof. Oof, man. Mm, dividends. I like to think that at least one person feels. Hey, you did it the way? Yeah. I that did. is good. Thanks, man. I love this. And uh, I'm gonna do that the the thing where I give it a little. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, this is this is a cool tip. So when you color, uh, we like to. We talked about this before, but like, fill it in. Fill in your drawing with like a nice solid background color like that. It'll it'll help make sure that you uh, are getting everything um, colored in. And also, um, it will Especially cut down on anti-aliasing. Yeah. Again. Get that like weird white edge sometimes. On yeah. Your even even with the pen tool, mm -hmm. sometimes it. Uh, it does that. So I, what I did was I already saved uh, a uh -huh. bunch of swatches yeah, from yeah, yeah. from the first from the Are first. You pulling drawing. those over in the corner. Yeah, you can. This is actually, I don't know if people know this, but yeah, if you have your paint bucket tool, um, 
and you want to like make a swatch, just like get a color in there and then just like go into your swatches uh, and just click with your paint bucket and it'll add a swatch. I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. That's not how I did it. How do you? Oh, you can like make them. Yeah, so. you you can just you can just go to the mm-hmm. the color thing and click on it. Yeah, but say, if you've got a color like in your paint bucket already. By the way, this is it, this is Adobe Photoshop. Yes. Uh, for those of you who uh don't know, <laughs> for and, those of you who insist on quest- asking, even though uh it says it right up in in the left hand corner. Yeah. Let's talk about shadows. Yeah. Um. What's the number one tip with shadows? Know your light source. Know your light source. Um. And also, uh, you can't know shadows. Yeah, shadows what is, are... What is, what is in shadows uh, is a secret to man. You think because you adopted shadows... Right. You, you are were, the master. You were merely... You, uh, you, you merely adopted this. I was born this. in them. I was born in the dark. Uh, I know my light sources. I went to seven years of art school. <laughs> was the follow-up that he doesn't... That was cut from the film. Yeah, that was... Uh, he goes on this weird yeah, tear this weird. about, like... You know um, how, how the the museum community is really light gone, sources, yeah, gone downhill. PR yeah. obscuro shading, just uh, yeah. And um, are you using? Oh, this is a good question. Are you using um, just a single color, like set to uh, multiply? Yes. Yeah. You can see up there. Uh, it, I, it Caldwell. It's a bit hard. Caldwell likes mm-hmm. to do um, like individual. This like, is a good time-saving technique, though. Yeah, it, it's uh, which is pick like you know, basically pick a color, like a bluish, uh huh, bluish gray in, right. the, in this one. Uh, at the end, I'm gonna change it though. You'll see. Oh whoa! But anyway, pick a color um, and then like make a new layer for your shadows. Set it to multiply and then put the opacity around like what, like twenty-five ish, I guess. And what oh, that'll I just, do? I just have it at a hundred oh, opacity wow. and it's just a light. Oh, I see. It's a light gray. Okay. Well, whatever you know what. Throw whatever in, throwing in a little background mm-hmm. whatever shades your your grade man yeah we're, all right so now we're doing a little background this is just to make it pop this is just to make it pop and mm-hmm. yeah uh ah. gonna add a little a little flourish Ooh, here this is good this is like a little uh, actually yeah this is important um don't don't not put a lens flare in your drawing you should, yeah <laughs> you <laughs> that's the most <laughs> it, from the the jj abrams school uh-huh. of uh of it's gonna make it look cooler. It's gonna make it look so cool. Don't like think that you're above it. Just like look at that. Look at that sheen on that that beautiful uh, cleaver. I think is what we called it. The more of a skimtar, and uh, more of like a a short a short blade. Oh, there it is. Hey, yeah, you well, hit it. I think I do one more thing. I think yeah. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I I'm a I make I make the, the shadows a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, and that's I, a great. That's another I good. add a little little reddish. Hint, hint use that. Uh, do, were you using just hue saturation? Hue saturation, yeah. Yeah, under images, uh, hue saturation. Just check that out. That'll give you. That was you. You were so close to being named hue saturation <laughs> Tanner instead of uh, Hugh Caldwell Tanner. Tanner. If only. If only. Ah, oh, I, I just I gotta call my dad. I'm very mad now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's how you ink and color a drawing. That's that's how we do it. At yeah. least that's um, the only way. And there's, if anyone there are else, no other ways. If anyone don't, tells don't you, try don't listen to them. <laughs> They're a liar. Um, and you know what? Find their light source. Take it away from them. Oh man. So this has been. Uh, that's good. Like, draw, if you want to be glass. a super villain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be an artist Find or a light. super villain, take it away from them. Yeah. So this has been draw class. Um, thank you for watching. And as always, uh, you know what? They can probably listen to us on this one. We, we had some good advice. There's some there's some good advice in this one. This we're is a still, departure. We're, we're still sorry. We're still sorry. Sure. And we're still rough and ready. Yeah, we're mad rough and ready. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks so much, guys.